Hey there, AI enthusiasts. I'm Ava, and welcome to your Friday Weekly Roundup. Let's dive into the latest and most exciting updates from the world of AI. OpenAI is developing a new AI model under the code name Strawberry. This project aims to give AI models advanced reasoning abilities, allowing them to plan ahead and perform complex tasks more effectively. The exact workings of Strawberry are a closely guarded secret within OpenAI, highlighting its significance. The goal is to improve AI models' ability to understand and interact with the world more like humans do. OpenAI has unveiled a five-level system to track its progress toward achieving Artificial General Intelligence AGI. This new system includes five levels, with level one being where we are now, and level five being the ultimate goal where AI can handle tasks of an entire organization. CEO Sam Altman thinks we might see AGI within this decade. NVIDIA revealed that the Las Vegas Sphere is powered by over $1 million worth of their GPUs. All this hardware drives 1.2 million LED panels outside and the 16,000 by 16,000 screens inside. The total cost of the GPUs is over $1 million. AI now brings our loved ones' images to life. With just two photos, you can interact with your deceased loved ones or anyone else through AI generated by Kling AI. Different photos can be input simultaneously and controlled using prompts, transcending physical limitations to be combined into one video. The European data center market is projected to reach $31.5 billion by 2028, with an expected ZAGR of 13.2%. The market has been expanding rapidly, driven by the increasing construction of new data centers and the entry of new businesses in the region. Andre Karpathy, former AI head at Tesla and OpenAI, is diving into education with his new startup, Eureka Labs. This venture aims to use AI teaching assistants to help students learn. Eureka Labs' first course, LLM 101, will teach students to create their own AI. The course will cover everything from basic coding to building a functioning AI web app, similar to ChatGPT. And that's a wrap for this week's Friday Roundup. Stay tuned for more updates and keep pushing the boundaries of innovation. See you next week.